Good afternoon, Excellencies, EU Ambassadors, dear colleagues and friends uh, from the other international observing organizations uh, from the African Union and from ECOWAS, dear media representatives, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Following on the invitation of the government of Liberia, the European Union has deployed an independent election observation mission, which we simply call EU-EOM, to observe the 2023 general elections, which shows also the EU's continuous commitment and support for reinforcing democracy, rule of law, political dialogue, and peace in Liberia. Let me, at the beginning, express my gratitude to the Liberian authorities for the invitation and to all actors of this electoral process for receiving us here and sharing with us your impressions, concerns, and thoughts. I myself was also able to meet the stakeholders of this electoral process. And uh, at the beginning of our statements, I think it is important to underline, I want to I would like to congratulate the Liberian voters, especially so many young women and men who were committed to cast their votes. Some of you, the voters, had to walk for hours to reach the polling places, and then often they had to wait for hours, and they did peacefully and under the hot sun. This is a vivid proof of the vitality of your, of your Liberian democracy. Let me also congratulate all those who were involved in the election days in the national elections commissions and the polling staff working at all levels of election administrations who despite the challenges and the obstacles well managed the election days operations. Let me underline the work of more than 10,000 professional and committed national observers who, along with party agents, also increased the transparency of the election day. Our election observation mission is present in Liberia since the end of August. In the capital, here in Monrovia, but also in the 15 counties of this country, meeting all stakeholders and reporting back to so our preliminary statement, which we are presenting to you today, is based on facts, on evidences, observed directly by our observers on the ground. On the election day itself, the EU EUM counted 103 observers from 27 member states, Norway and Canada. Importantly, a group of seven members of the European Parliament joined the mission's efforts and my colleague Leopoldo Lopez Hill will later share with you their impressions as members of the Parliament. As I told you at our first conf press conference here in September, the mission observes and analyzes the whole electoral process, including the legal framework, the electoral administration, voter and candidates registrations, the campaign environment, including in media and social media, and the election day itself, tabulation of the result at the telecenters, as well as complaints and appeal process afterwards. I also want to mention the good cooperation with our partners' organizations from the African Union, from ECOWAS, from ASA, and as well as national observer groups such as LEON and ECC. I think this cooperation is very important but also very pleasant and very well, and I want to thank you especially for this very good uh, cooperation. Today, the EU election observation mission to Liberia presents its initial findings in our preliminary statement, and as was mentioned at the exit, you can also grab your copy. You will see this paper copy, uh, but let me read also out most important paragraphs by leaving more time, by leaving therefore more time than it for questions and answers. So I will just cover the major points. These were the first post-conflict general elections solely organized by the Liberian institution. A largely peaceful and vibrant campaign in which fundamental freedoms were mostly respected was mared by the abundant use of state resources uh, by the incumbency, distorting the level playing field. 
A well-handled electoral process took place in an atmosphere of mistrust against institutions. The electoral day showed Liberian's democratic commitment and was positively assessed by the EU election observation mission observers, but, but high turnout, cumbersome procedures and their implementation slowed the conducting of the polls. Overall, the legal framework provides a reasonable basis for the conduct of democratic elections. But however, it does not fully guarantee voters' right in an effective legal remedy. In addition, it lacks important details while some of the provisions related to the electoral disputes and electoral offenses are ambiguous and contradictory. Campaign finance regulations are overall in line with international standards, but their lack of enforcement failed to ensure complete transparency. Direct EU-EUM observation information from stakeholders showed a high level of monetization and buttering during the electoral campaign. Despite, despite the comp compre compressed time frame and the serious logistical challenges, and we had, as we had been here in the country since August, also witnessed it how deep these logistical challenges in a country like Liberia is going. And I want to say also, as an election administration managed well the preparations and complied with most deadlines. However, some activities and decisions came late in the process and were not shared in a timely manner with the magisterial offices, adversely affecting also the processes. But also mentioning the logistic framework, we have to say it is for those which have to organize the election and also very hard for the voters. Uh, but Given these circumstances, I think it was uh, uh, really mentionable. The National Election Commission, NEC, missed the opportunity to address the stakeholders' concerns early enough with a view to increase public confidence through more effective and comprehensive communication and information sharing. And also newly introduced biometric voter registration contributed to the identification of multiple and suspect records in the voter's registration's role. However, technical problems during registration and systematic procedural shortcomings weakened the stakeholders' confidence in its, in, in its accuracy. The fact that NEC shared the final copies of the final registration role with the electoral contestants so close to the, the election day further undermine the stakeholders' trust in the, in the registration data. Freedom of expression and the press uh, are respected in Liberia. Political patronage, low salaries, and the lack of diversified funding streams result in self-censorship, which is the main issue in the media landscape today and has a negative impact on the quality and diversity of the messages transmitted to the public. Despite some minor incident, most journalists feel free to cover the elections. Absence of regulatory framework for data protection and cybersecurity facilities, a fertile ground for instances of cyberbullying, usage of inflammatory language and incident messages, discrediting of electoral contestants and shape, shaping voters' trust in the electoral process. On a positive note, three main fact-checking initiatives performed verification and scrutiny of political and electoral content in a timely manner, thus helping voters to make a better informed choice. On the election day, our observers reported from 417 polling places in rural and urban areas in 14 out of the 15 counties of the country, and they assessed that the election day is generally calm, peaceful, and well conducted by the NEC, with only isolated cases of incidents, mostly as a result of voters' frustration due to the high turnout, combined with slow processing of polling or late opening in some polling places, which was also observed by the EU EUN. Due to the logistical difficulties which hampered the distribution of electoral materials, several voting precincts in the south did not open and the voting was postponed to the following days. While the conduct of voting was generally evaluated as well-organized and smooth, 
The counting phase was addressed by EU observers less positively due to omission of incor or incorrect implementation of several important procedural steps intended to ensure integrity of the count. These shortcomings were mainly attributed to insufficient understanding or non-adherence of the established procedures by the polling personnel. It is also important to note that the result tabulation is still underway and uh, uh, the EU EOM will remain in the field to observe this process until the end. Our observers are currently following the process of uh, at the count, county telling centers across the country. And we have observed, observed some delays in start of the telling process, mainly due to still ongoing arrival of re result forms from the voting precincts, which require time as well as some technical problems. Up until now, the process is assessed mainly positively, mainly positively as transparent and orderly by our observers. And we will, as I said, will continue to observe the process until it is finalized. We'll also follow the, that the handling of complaints and appeals. And after the completion of the process, the EU election observation mission will present to the authorities and to the public a final report with recommendations on how to improve future elections.